Hey guys, this video is about finding the balance between what fulfills us and what fulfills our dogs, because in many cases, these are very different things. So let me explain. After about 20 years of doing dog behavior work, here's what I know, is that what dogs want to be fulfilled more than anything in the world is to be dogs. They want to be respected as dogs, they want to be honored as dogs, they want to be fulfilled as dogs. They want to be challenged as dogs. But we have a tough time accepting that sometimes because of the way we humanize dogs, in particular in our Western cultures. We make these decisions about what dogs need based on what we need. Now we all know what it's like to be in a career or a relationship where we're not fulfilled. It's miserable. Everybody always talks about that. You don't meet my needs or this job doesn't meet my needs. But we have a lot of variables as humans as to what fulfills each person. What fulfills me may be different than what fulfills somebody else. But in the dog world, it's pretty consistent. They're, they're hardwired to require certain things in order to be fulfilled. They always want to be social. They always want to be challenged. They always want to have adventures. Those are things that are, they always want to be led. That's probably the primary one. But what we do sometimes is we twist these things because of what we feel we need. And as a result, we, get, we create all of these issues with dogs that manifest in all kinds of things, separation anxiety, dog reactivity, human reactivity, um, all kinds of neurotic behaviors simply because our dog's needs are not being met. So here's what I, here's what I would challenge you to do. If you could talk to your dog the way I'm talking to you right now, and you could actually Tell your dog that you only have 20 minutes that day in order to, um, to spend with them. So you only have 20 minutes a day. And you give them a choice. What is it you would like to do? Would you like to do 20 minutes of cuddling on the sofa where I pet you and tell you what a good dog you are? Or would you like to spend that same 20 minutes going on a walk or going to the beach, something like that? We all know what the dog's answer is gonna be, right? So we, we kind of know it already, no matter what we say, we know it, but we don't always act on it. Instead, we try to tell ourselves that, oh, my dog really loves to cuddle all the time. That he gets upset if I don't pet him all the time, or he gets his feelings hurt. We come up with all of these humanizing ways of looking at things. And then we wonder why our dogs are neurotic and messed up. So it's a tough, pill to swallow for a lot of people. It was for me in particular because I was a complete humaniac for so many years. I started my own humane society as many of you guys know and I spent a lot of time humanizing dogs, loving dogs up and never knowing what fulfilled them beyond that and so it was tough to wrap my head around the fact that they might actually be fulfilled by something different than I would because I was definitely fulfilled by giving them nonstop affection. What I didn't know is that when I shifted the way I related to dogs and when I was actually learned some things about dog psychology where I could actually turn dog's behavior around and make a dog that was possibly aggressive with another dog actually become social with that dog, a dog that was neurotic, that had um, separation anxiety and would destroy the house if left alone. When I could start to turn those things around, that actually gave me far more fulfillment than rolling around on the floor, hugging my dog, sleeping in bed with my dog way more fulfillment from that than I ever got from doing the human type things with a dog. Just to be able to say that I had made a difference in a dog was unbelievable and, and it was kind of like it, it, it finished that addiction that I had to non-stop affection like that. Well, not like that. It actually took about a year to be honest because I was so it was so ingrained in me that all my dogs needed was love because that's all I thought I needed and actually it wasn't all I needed once I stopped leaning on my dogs for emotional support it made me a stronger better person because I realized that I needed to do that role reversal where what I needed to actually do is make myself into someone that my dog would want to follow instead of the other way around so I've got a case in here right now that I'm, I'm seeing some of this play out where um, the dog has basically been um, saying that he's an emotional support dog would be probably a little bit stretched, but um, this dog was actually from a, the time he was a puppy, he was allowed to sleep in bed with his owner and she had a certain level of fear about living alone, which was certainly picked up on by the dog and so that exacerbated the issue and now the dog has a lot of reactivity issues towards people and other dogs. Once I took the leash today, totally different demeanor, um, which, which is what always tells me that the, the, the issue with the dog is not the dog, it's the relationship, the dynamics of the relationship. So I would just challenge you to really stop and try to wrap your head around what, what you think actually 
fulfills your dog. And even if you just take it a little bit of a t at, at a time, try to do something that you know would your dog would absolutely love doing, regardless of what you think your dog would want. Try to make it about what the dog would want. And since we all answer that question pretty much the same as to what a dog would choose, affection over a walk, we all know what the answer is. So you can start there. And when you have the urge to humanize your dog constantly, think about doing something else with him that you know will resonate with that dog more and provide him with more of what he actually needs, what he's actually hardwired to need and desire to be fulfilled. Okay, that's my little tidbit for the day. So thanks for watching you guys. And if you wanna learn more, I have tons of workshops that are coming up. I've got my next, I have two workshops that are sold out for the fall, but I do have another train the trainers that I just put on the calendar for January that does have some openings. I have some a lot of other programs. I have a Wellness Unleashed, um, two more this year that are sold out, but I'm gonna do one, um, actually the end of the year. You can find all this information out if you go to the link in my bio. I've got some um, out of state things that I'm doing this year as well. I'm going to be really, really busy. Very exciting. So um, thanks for watching again. Thanks for your support. I do these videos because I love you guys and I want to share what I know and hope that it makes a difference in your life and with your relationship with your dog. Love you. Bye.